Hi guys and welcome to Tight Guys Mastering. Today we've got a special video, I feel. Um, we're doing a review on a compressor that's handmade in Germany from a company called Tegeler Audio Manufacture, um, as we can see here. And it's a very new compressor or very tube compressor using four tubes. And I feel it is a fantastic compressor because it really does give it that analog warmth without too much effort and it's very uh, tonally and musically um, friendly to your music and also the controls are quite simple so it's not um, really a lot to get your head around in order to process your music. And for me when going outside of the box in mastering it really is handy to have something that does make life fairly straightforward. Okay so first I'll just have a quick um, review of the controls. You've got these wonderful giant VU meters, which are great to have in the studio, which we can change from gain reduction, as we see here, which will show the gain reduction to the left, of course, on a VU meter. So, you know, if we have the needles going over to three, that'll be three dB reduction or so. Or we can switch them to output mode. So we're showing the average or RMS output level um, corresponding to the way it's set up for level. So we go back to gain reduction mode, that's how I like to have it when mastering, so I can see how much I'm, I'm chopping off the source material. Um, what's, uh, what, what else is good about it is we've got hardware controls for in and out bypass. The way to look at this compressor is that we have a left side and a right side. Basically, um, it's a stereo mastering or mix bus compressor, but you can also use it for um, drum bus processing, anything you like, and it does sound good. Um, so yeah, we look at it as two halves. We also have this link function here. What that means is that the attack and the release on the left-hand side will be matched on the right-hand side when we're in link mode. Uh, again, quite handy to have because you, when you're mastering, you obviously only want to work on the attack and release on one side. However, the level, input and output, is relevant to both sides, even when link mode is on. This is sometimes handy in mastering because you can have um, a track that has discrepancies in level on the left and the right. So with this, I can just boost up maybe the, the left side uh, separately from the right and achieve a balance very useful. Um, I love it. So what else is interesting is we have an input control dial. I won't say input compression ratio or anything like that. Basically, or in input gain I should say rather, it's not really just input gain because it has a soft knee character, very musical, and what happens when we increase the input gain, we increase the ratio. So I'm not sure if it's exponential or not, but the further we increase that input gain, the further reduction we'll see. So also increasing the ratio, which is quite intuitive. Um, it, it stops you thinking about what ratio is important for the mastering and we can just feed the audio through it. So that's the basic controls. If we go and have a look, I've got some samples prepared here in Ableton Live. And I'm gonna show you the sounds of this compressor and what it can do, okay? So first off, we've got an acoustic sample. I'm going to press Apple L to make sure that's looped. And what we've got here is a pre-master, which we can send through it. You help me to grow. So we're having a listen now. And I want you to know this is the raw file without any processing. So and let's have a listen. I'm going to swap to my Tegler routing. We're going up through a Lynx Helo converter, so the AD and DA conversion is reference quality. Um, also, quite important when you're mastering to have reference quality conversion. So we go out through the Helo into the device. I'll put that on now. Just got a key assignment here. And let's have a look at the controls. Increase the input on the left and match it on the right. Maybe I'll reduce the attack a bit and increase the compression a little bit. So 
also increase the release a little. We're getting a little bit more reduction, but it's still quite mild. One to two decibels reduction. And we can also increase that output gain and hear how this wonderful tube and I want you to know that I comes in. So okay. So I can do a hardware bypass. You can really hear what it's doing there. Oh, and go back to the pre-master. So it's the pre-master now. And we also have in the project a normalised original. So let's have a listen. So just normalised means me the peak's been uh, increased to zero decibel full scale. And I want you to know that I okay. so and let's have a listen. We've also got a mastered version. That's mastered by us. It's like Ghost Mastering. So have a listen to that. And I want to be perfectly clear. You help me to grow. And I want you to know that I... Of course, compression is only one stage, small stage of the mastering. So to compare to the master, it is interesting because most likely I've used the Tegeler and some other things in the mastering. Uh, so that's an acoustic sample. I'll have you have a, have a listen one more time of the pre-master versus going through the Tegeler and you can hear what it does. You have your... So pre-master now, so and now through the Tegeler. And I want to be perfectly clear. You help me to. So you can hear that musical tone even when I'm boosting the output quite a lot. I'm only really adding something to the sound. So that's what I find fantastic about it. And to me. The sound of this compressor does compare to compressors that I've tried three times the price. So that's why I have it and I use it almost all the time. Um, so as a review, yeah, it gets it gets definitely five stars, I think, for me. Um, the other great thing is that I was able to try this compressor um, offered by the company as a trial period where you can try before you buy. So. Uh, they're very friendly at Tegeler and this gives you an opportunity to make sure you're investing your money in something that you really want, which is important because it is a big investment. Um, I've also done a video on comparing this compressor uh, with some samples of software compression and also using the um, Elysia Expressor so you can further your experience with this wonderful compressor. Let's go to another sample now, throw something else at it and I'll get let you hear that. I'm gonna have a listen to a hip hop sample now. I'll turn that output gain down a bit. Run the pre-master. Back to the Tegeler. Getting a little bit too much compression there. Just reduce that a bit. slower attack, maybe a slightly faster release. Okay, bypass. You can hear how it really lifts that vocal forward, brings out some presence. It's a, it's a yeah, wonderful character, I feel, and it's barely ever not right. Um, to be honest, there is nothing that I don't like about this compressor. I think the release time uh, possibly could go a tiny bit slower, but it's really never matters. Um, I rarely use a very long release time in mastering like this, but it's good to have it. Um, yeah, the release times and attack times that these dials correspond to, I'll put up on the screen now so you can see what that is. But yeah, basically, we just adjust our input and that adjusts the compression amount, then we adjust the output to match. If we're trying to boost a track that's very low in level, these output 
gain dials are very, very useful because they are so musical and you're adding tube warmth to your music. So I'll give you one more example. Um, let's have a listen to a dance sample. Uh, more common in, in Berlin where we're operating. So we're going to have a listen now to the pre-master quickly. I'll just reduce the output a bit before I go on to the VTC and let's go now to the VTC. So you get the idea. Um, I'll include the project uh, with some samples in the video description. Um, do check us out on Facebook and if you like the review, yeah, please like the video as well and send any inquiries to info at zeitgeistmastering.com. And yeah, nice quick review. Um, as I said, one of my favorite um, hardware compressors in the mastering world. That's why I've done that for you. So yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Ciao.